May God peace be upon you all. So that when my Muslim greet each other, that's what he said, Assalamu alaikum, and uh, welcome. My name is Hussein Baba. Well, I'm the secretary of the mosque here. Islam is the name of the religion. And the people who practice Islam are known as Muslims. Okay, now back to Islam. Now, there is a bit of a misconception. People think Islam is a new religion. It is not. It started way back when Prophet Adam. I'm sure you're aware of Prophet Adam? Adam and Eve? Yeah. That's when Islam started. And then it ended or completed with Prophet Muhammad, the last prophet or the last messenger of God. So in between, there were about 124,000 prophets and messengers who the Almighty God sent to uh, earth, to the human being, to pass his message on. And finally, it was completed by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. As a Muslim, we have to respect all the prophets, including the high-profile prophets, Prophet Abraham, David, Solomon, Jesus, Moses. These are all very, very important figures in, the, in Islam. In order to be Muslim, you have to respect each and every one of them. And, uh, and the final prophet I said is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, what I would like to do is uh, I would like to take a tour of the mosque, have a look at it, and then uh, we can start now, if you don't mind. All right, okay. All right, let's go. Uh, this is the ablution room. Before anybody prays in that hall, they need to wash themselves, clean them up. So how do we do is we wash our hands, our face, our ears, our nostrils, and uh, two feet. That's what we do before we pray in the mosque. But today we are not praying, we're just visiting, so that's okay. So uh, this is the area where the male worshippers pray, offer their prayer in this area because women and men pray separately. So the women pray on this side, and the men pray, men, the male pray in this. And when you come here, we have the uh, priest, we call him Imam. So Imam is the leader, he leads the prayer, and then we follow. We'll be in a, a row. So once this row is completed, we follow the second row. So it will continue all the way to the back. If it's full, we'll put them up, up there. So this area can accommodate about 300 worshippers and 200 up there. So 500 altogether. And uh, so he will lead the prayer. Now on Fridays, what happens is we have a big congregation. About 800 to 1,000 people turn up for prayers. It's compulsory. You can't miss it. You can't pray at home. You can't pray in your office. Unlike the other five days, five daily prayers. Friday congregation is called Jumma. Uh, and they have to come to the mosque and offer the prayer. So it's full on Friday. So what happened is the Imam go up to here. He stands up and uh, there's a sermon. So every week you have to deliver a sermon. This will be the ladies section. It's always closed. If, uh, but today, uh, let me have a look. Please come in. You might be wondering why the female section is much, much smaller than the male section. Because it is not compulsory for a female to come to the mosque to offer their prayer. They can pray at home or office or wherever they are. But it's really encouraged for male to come to pray in the mosque. You see, uh, like let's say for a married woman, it's not convenient for her to come drive all the way to the mosque and pray because she might be having children at home. So she has to look after the children. So it's a lot of consideration goes on. Uh, from this monitor, they can see Imam conducting the prayers. So, uh, and they can listen to the prayer as well. And they also follow the Imam. And um, the, you see that structure there? The, that will be our future community center. It's called Gold Coast Community Center. Uh, okay. And then here we have uh, a ladies female wudu area. That's for the ablution as well. Your fifth, fifth pillar of Islam. This is what it is. This is a place called Makkah in uh, Saudi Arabia. And the significance is, now, this is known as Kaaba. It's not Kaaba. So wherever the Muslims are, let's say in America or China or Middle East, they all pray to the direction of Kaaba. If you see somebody homeless or walking or begging food, just buy one lunch box and give it to them. And you don't know how much reward you will get. Nothing go uncounted. Everything is recorded. All your good deeds are, God will reward you for them. 
So nothing is wasted. Feeding somebody is a big thing because they're hungry. What else do you want? Money is endless. You can keep on giving what you want. But food, yeah, your belly is full now. That's it. So this is why, remember, if you get a chance, if you see anybody sleeping on the street who doesn't have money, just go and buy a lunchbox or McDonald's, just feed her. Make him happy. And mind you, God will reward you. As I mentioned, each time I finish my talk, this is what I say. No matter where you come from, no matter what language you speak, no matter what your religious beliefs are, we are all brothers and sisters in humanity. So we must extend love and be compassionate to each other. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your hospitality no is, is shown here to us today. And, and we um, want to say Jazakallah here okay, for you. extending um, all your knowledge yeah. and welcoming us here. Yeah. And everyone's really um, grateful, obviously. Yeah. And um, also, it's like not very often that you get to see a lot of sides of Islam, yeah. um, and we're really grateful. Oh, you're welcome anytime. Anytime you're welcome, and uh, you can contact me through website. I have a column for contact. If you want to know anything about Islam or or whatever community services.